Good morning, everybody. We welcome you to our bi-monthly training. So excited to have everybody joining us today. Uh, we will have Debbie joining us in just a second. And uh, so happy Friday, everybody. I know it's a recording and many of you will see this on a different day, but uh, thrilled for our topic as well. As many of you are coming in, we're going to give it uh, probably another 30 seconds as you join this training. Really excited to talk today about must move sellers is the topic. And as I've reviewed our slides with Debbie, uh, I think this is just a really relevant topic for, for all of us. So let's give her just a few seconds to come in. I know we have quite a few people joining us. And um, so if you can, just while we're waiting for Debbie, if you'll jump into chat and just make sure that the audio is working, that you can hear me properly, I'd appreciate just some feedback there. Loud and clear. Very good. Appreciate you guys chiming in. Want to welcome Debbie DeGroat, CEO and founder of Forward Coaching. Debbie, happy Friday to you. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, we got you on mute, Debbie. Give me one second. Yep. You got it. All right. Can you hear me now? Can hear you now, Debbie. Really excited about this topic today. You know, in the real estate industry, there's a few things we need to be doubling down on. And I feel like doubling down on sellers and finding the right people to list more homes is really an appropriate topic for today. It is. And I just was jumping off um, a call with all the Brividi folks. So if you guys were over there and now you're over here, you'll hear a little bit of the same stuff. So <laughs> sorry about that. But hey, then maybe you'll really go do it. But what I was saying, um, and Adrian, this is live right now. We are live. So if you have a question, type it in the chat box. We don't have time today to address everything that's going on in the world of real estate. But you know, Sean, we can in the future. Yeah. Um, we're doing a lot of things to help our clients navigate the changes coming. Um, but what I will share with all of you is going to be okay. We're going to have to adapt. We're going to need to skill up. But across the country, a, a huge percentage of something like 38% of buyers have already been signing buyer agreements there's many states that already have mandated that just to get in advance of this. We're writing lots of new scripts for you to help you with your buyers and sellers that'll be coming soon. And it's not final yet. You know, I think that's the thing to know that right now it's pretty much business as usual, adapting to any changes that your broker, brand, or board are requesting of you. And, you know, Buyers need to buy and sellers need to sell. And the reason we picked this topic, it's not because I want to discourage you from working with buyers. They're 50% of the market. I want to encourage you, though, that because we're going into the spring and summer season and we're now hearing rates will probably be dropping more towards the end of summer or fall, there's going to be a wave of sellers that are going to come at us when those rates drop. And I want to be sure that they come to you. So let's talk about a couple of the gifts today. One will be this um, real estate roadmap. It's an annual real estate planning booklet. And the reason I wanted you guys to have this, you can see that in the front, you can put your own logo. There's nothing about forward or land voice on there. It's just for you. It's about 32 pages, I think, Sean, so they can reach out to their clients, engage in conversations about their real estate related plans, offer to send them this guide, and even offer to sit down and meet with them and update them on the value of your home. This is something we created for our forward coaching clients. I pulled it right off of the forward portal to share with all of you. And then we, we've got a cool little, just a, a lead gen worksheet. And I borrowed that from my friend, Chris Suarez. And when we talk about that in a moment, I think you can see it there on the side. Um, whatever lead gen method you choose, if you have a process, we call it the six Ps. 
then it's well-defined, great action steps and likely to be successful. So yeah, we're going to cut in real quick, huge value add to everybody. Thank you for offering that. The questions are already coming in. How do we get that? Jessica will be sending it out this morning to all of you. So don't stress, don't worry at all. That's going out to right after this call. You will get them automatically in that guide. Keep it, use it. The gift that keeps on giving it, it it's not dated. It's not seasonal. And also uh, many of our coaching clients have been offering it on social media and getting some great result, posting it on their website, sending it out in an email, and even taking it and making many video uh, sound bites from it that they're posting on YouTube. So I hope it helps you in a lot of different ways. So working with buyers is fine, but 2024, gosh, we need those listings. And we wanna be strategic about where we spend our time and I would encourage you for the next couple of months, especially fire the jets on prospecting. And because the rates are not dropping as soon as we hoped, we need to turn our focus to those must move sellers. And, you know, Sean, I, I hear this all the time when I'm out speaking in, to groups. Most of my business comes to me organically. Yeah. But they never say, and I'm getting all the business I want. And the fact that we're here with these great, you know, land voice people, that tells me that even if they're not fully taking action, at least they're open-minded to new opportunity. And a perfect question, where do you find those must-move sellers? Well, that's why Land Voice exists, right, Sean? Do you right. want to take a minute here. and talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. We love our sellers out there. And really, Land Voice has been in the industry since 1991 to find every first sell by owner that's out there. The NAR, Debbie, tells us every year, and it kind of ranges from about 84 to about 87%, depending on the year. But 84 to 87% of first sell by owners will list with the first agent that contacts them. Wow. And um, it's 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 really pretty interesting those those stats and those facts. So the expireds, the fisbos. I know you have a slide on this. I've got a little teaser on this as well. But obviously, okay, we're here at Land Voice to help you with the seller data to find the owner information, whether it's the address to send those postcards to door knock, the the email, the phone. We're going to find that information for you on both first sale by owners, expireds, pre foreclosures, and then even a neighborhood search tool with a little tease in just a second that I'll share with you as well, Debbie. Yeah, and the reason I think that's so important that they get into that and start utilizing that, many of the past clients in Sphere are sitting on the fence right now. And so they're waiting for you to call them, which, which is great. You should call them uh, because if you're waiting for them to call you, that's not very predictable. And I know we need to start lining them up. Who's going to be moving in the future? But the the bigger opportunity in the next month or two may be in those those must move people. An expired, they tried to sell. It just wasn't successful. A for sale by owner, they are trying to sell. Maybe you are prospecting around an open house to pick up another listing. Land Voice can help you with that. And you know, when we're bringing on a new uh, coaching client, Sean, we always look at their personality their market, try to match them with the things they'll do really well, but they need to have five lead generation pillars. Past client and sphere is one, open house is one, but what are the others? Because then no matter what's happening, your business is rolling along. If one source isn't producing enough, another one potentially would be. So here's some of my favorite must sell sellers. And I think too, again, going back to areas with high turnover, some pockets, there's more people moving. They may not be the prettiest and the fanciest pockets, but that might be a great area for you to call and focus on. Um, notice of default. I know that it's not a massive tidal wave of these people, um, I think it was like 0 0.50 in the country. But Sean, we have a client here in Southern California 
who made $750,000 last year as a single agent, not a team, yeah. with one admin working notice of default. That's right. And he told me that most of them had 50% equity and they were right down to the wire of just about to lose their home. And he either helped them get it refinanced, bought them some time with the lender, and if they needed to sell, help them get the home sold. Maybe and that's what I'm hearing too. Sorry to interrupt, but yeah. I just talked to an agent in January in North Carolina. There's not a lot of NODs right now right. out there, but they listed seven homes in North Carolina just from the NOD list. Now there's not right. a lot, but there's also not a lot of people working this mm -hmm. type of data. So the opportunities out there for each of you to work something like an NOD in most states, a Liz pendant in other states, right? Depending on whether they're judicial or non-judicial state. Right. But that's the opportunity for many of you that are listening to this call are those those NODs yeah. or the Liz pendants. And we totally get it that every state has different rules and regulations. Every market has different opportunities. And that's why we say we, we think of this like a menu right? This is not, hey, go do every single thing we're saying today. In fact, I'd even encourage you, pick one. Pick one new opportunity and say, if I take that and I master that and I get some result from that and I've got my system and my routine, I can go back to the menu and I can pick another opportunity. And and Jason, you know, the how do we find those high turnover areas? In certain states, you work very closely with your title company. California happens to be one of them. I could call up my title rep and I could say, hey, I want you to pull the hot spots for me in Orange County. And they have filters that can do that. Now, if you're not- That's a good tip. Yeah. Now, if you're not- everybody took note of that. Yeah, it's easy, right? You just call yeah. them and say, I want to find the hot spots. Like, for example, Newport Beach- uh, this is not super current. This was a few months ago, but it was like 1.5% turnover, but 15 minutes away in Santa Ana, it was 13%. So if you're going to make dials, circle prospecting, which one would be better, right? Kind of common sense. Divorce, 21% of people who file for divorce sell their home within a year, right? So pick the one that fits you. If you don't have a title company to help you, guess what? Then you just need to study your market. It's pretty easy to know what are the areas that have more listings occurring? What are the areas that are fabulous, but almost no one ever moves? Where should I put my focus? And I saw someone ask about, hey, I didn't get that guide. No, you didn't get the guide. Nobody did. You're all going to get it later. Okay, so right don't to worry. Absolutely. I don't need your email. I've already got it because that's how you registered. So you guys are golden. Don't need to do De it. Debbie, I know you got a lot of slides here. Real quick, just go back to that last slide. I've got two of quick course. comments and I'll let you yeah, kind of go please, through here. Please do. One, we had a question about an agent in New York. Yeah, there's some strict New York laws out there. So make sure you're following the law in New York. Making dials, sending postcards or letters is another way to kind of get in front of those people in New York. Someone else also asked, how do we see the NODs in Landvoice? If you're subscribed to Landvoice already, on the left-hand side, it'll say pre-foreclosure, and it'll show you if it's an NOD, a Liz pendant, a notice of sale, or a notice of trustee sale. So be aware of that. That data's there just on the left-hand menu. And then last thing, and this is where I wanted to send a teaser, Debbie. Okay. I am currently testing right now probate data, divorce data, and we hope to have something for you late in Q2 or Q3 with that data at Landvoice. Awesome. And the last thing that I'm also testing it's something called a pre-NOD. Mm -hmm. So this is when someone might be late on a payment and in distress, but the bank hasn't filed for filed closure yet. yet. We've talked to two agents in California just at two different events in the last three weeks. They both said that the bank had sent that homeowner a letter and said, hey, reach out to an agent and sell your home because we wow. don't want to go through pre-foreclosure with you. So that's a little trend that's happening. At least I've seen it twice in California so far. The other trend is this with pre-NOD data. 
So in my county, and I live in, uh, I'm in kind of the Salt Lake City area. Mm -hmm. I live in a county just south of Salt Lake. We've had 65 NODs since January 1st, not a lot. But last month, we had 1,300 pre-NOD homes with late wow. payments. And this in March, that increased from 1,300 to 1,900. So I'm currently testing this data, and I hope to have some really exciting uh, data where we have homes that are in distress. And there's a little bit of, I think, what I see is a wave coming, Debbie. And Landwis hopes to have a lot of that data for you in the next, I would say, 60 days. I've got some really exciting opportunities for a lot of people out there. So I know I kind of pulled you off these slides. Oh, and no, I'm no. Super this excited is, about some of that data. That's good. And you know, my where my thought went to is you talked about the pre, you know, the pre-foreclosure. You might say, well, but what if I reach out to them and they say, oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cure that foreclosure and I'm gonna stay here in the home. Then I would say, well, you know what? That's fine. Good for you. Would it be all right with you if I now stay in touch with you? Can I call you once a quarter and give you a market update? Because maybe someday you'll need me. Maybe I do a great job and a friend or family member will need me. Because, you know, the interesting thing is that I would guess at, the, we'll have to study this when you get that product, those who cure it, but does that stick? Like, it's, do they get into trouble again and, and decide, I can't do this, I've got to sell the home? It's funny you mentioned that, though, because we are testing this data, and I have a team in Washington calling the data right now, and they ran into that this week. They ran into, hey, I procured it, it's all taken care of, but I'm glad you called because I do need to sell my home. And mm -hmm. so just the communication styles allowed them to ask a few more questions, and they have a listing appointment with them this week. So yeah. super excited about that data, and also just about the scripting that you're teaching mm -hmm. all of us how to do and how to communicate more effectively, because that's what we have to do. We have to have real conversations with these homeowners. Right, and so just so they know, um, a couple questions you might want to ask answer one would be the do not call list so numbers that yeah. they receive in uh land voice any yep. uh, thing you want to share about that yeah all data is going to be scrubbed against the dnc so please be mindful of it we highlight the phone number in red we tell you it's on the dnc please honor and follow those laws and those rules so you'll know which numbers are on the dnc which ones aren't if you're making phone calls on that data and they don't have to opt into you for you to call them they just have to not be on the D, the do not call list, right? To keep you safe. Now they do need to opt into you if you're going to do ongoing marketing to them online, or that becomes, you know, spam. And the same thing applies to SMS texting. They need to be opted into you, and you got to be very careful of that. The rules are very tight in a lot of states. Um, so other areas of opportunity investment property owners. There's a lot of absentee owners right now. In, in many of the states, there are changes around the landlord-tenant rules. Some states are worse than others. Um, some landlords are like, I'm fed up. I, I, I want to sell. You know, I just want to get my cash. I want to put it in another type of investment. And especially with the absentees that don't live in the in the state, I feel that they maybe don't have a connection with an agent. I always found them reasonably easy to connect with in work because they want to know what's happening, what's going on. And then there's a lot of older homeowners right now who, in fact, I think the baby boomers are the biggest property owning generation in the company or in the country ever in history. And I think it's something like crazy percentage. I, I can't even remember, but a boomer, I, I believe would be, I forget the years, but like there's a trailing boomers that might be in their fifties and then Mick Jagger is a boomer, right? <laughs> so, so they may be moving and selling and don't forget your database, right? Let's talk to them in the next 30 days. Ask them what are their real estate related plans for the future? Because they might be sitting on the fence right now, but there could be that flood of opportunity. And then don't forget, get your real estate roadmap. Get that guide. I think you're going to like it. You're not going to want to print it and mail it to everybody because it is 30 plus pages. 
But you know, what one of our clients did is they made a video to their past clients saying, hey, it's, you know, it's Debbie here. I've got this cool little tool for you. It's about 30 plus pages of great tips, information, and worksheets to plan your real estate future. If you'd like a copy, email me, text me. And if you'd like to schedule an appointment to discuss it, let me know. Happy to come and see you or jump on a quick Zoom. So please use it. I'd love to hear any results that you get from it. Um, so let's go back to some of the questions too. Sean, I wanna make sure they get everything answered. Um, searching NODs on Land Voice, did, did you answer that? Yeah, they're yeah. also asking about the pre-owned NODs. That data is not live yet. We're testing it, guys. We're perfecting it. Should have it available in Q2. So just watch okay. for an announcement from us soon. Okay. And Jason's asking best turnover percentage to look for when calling into neighborhoods. Yeah. As high as you can. <laughs> but what, <laughs> I, what I usually recommend to um, people who are choosing a geographic farm, ideally, if you can find an area that in the last couple of years had at least four to 5% turnover. So if there were a thousand homes, at least 45 went on the market, right? And listed in that area. It's not. It's been a little lean the last couple of years, but get as close to that as you possibly can. Debbie, and just to recap, so we recommend you call your title company, find those high moving areas, those high transition areas, and then go into Land Voice, click on your neighborhood search tool, circle that zip code or that neighborhood you wanna focus on, and Land Voice will help you find all the contact information, all the address and owner information that you need for those areas. Yep. And then remember, you need five, even six listing lead generation levers, each of them with that strong action plan. So you see that prospecting sources worksheet, whatever you choose as your new adventure, what's your mindset around it, the psyche? What are you going to need to do to prepare? What's your process for working that lever? How are you gonna promote it? Like social media, emails, the things we just talked about. Performance, I think of that as script. It's showtime. And then post activity would be your follow-up. So it's just a great worksheet because Sean, what I sometimes see people do is they'll say, well, I'm going to work expired some more. Okay, that's an idea. That's not an action plan, right? That's right. So the who, what, where, when, why, and how. So there we go. Schedule There's our, it. Make sure it's scheduled in your, in your calendar every day. Yep. Absolutely. So bottom line, guys, it's time. Expand your range, your reach, your influence, be seen in your community, be helpful. Um, my husband has worked probate for 15 years and he, I'll be happy to share some tips once you get that data, we can talk about that. But you know how he came to fall in or embrace that is my father passed away and they lived far away from us in a rather remote place. And I'm standing in their house going, I don't, I don't know who to call. I don't know what this house is worth. And I think in that moment, it really clicked in my husband's mind that there are people out there that are in that situation handling their family's estates, and they need the help of a quality agent. Same thing with the notice of defaults. Robert goes into that thinking, if I can help them save their home and nurture them as a client, that's my first goal. But if that does not work, then I'm going to help them achieve the highest price possible and try to protect them from the bank foreclosing before they get their equity out. So Debbie, we had a quick comment to see if they could see sure. the six P's again slide. Any way to oh, see that? Sure. Request? And we're going to send it to you. So don't worry. This is coming your way along with that guide. So you will have it. I encourage you to print it, use it keep it. If you have team agents, please share it with them and make sure they have a very clear plan on anything that you're telling them to do. So 
Yes, you love your past clients in Sphere. Good, then call them and talk to them and find out their real estate related plans. Show up as their wise advisor. And remember though, there are more people in the world who don't know you than people who do. And it's time to talk to some of them. And if you could say, hey, you know what? Between now and the end of April, I'm going to commit to my 10, 10, 10, 10 quality conversations. And that means voice to voice, eye to eye or ear to ear. I'm going to sneeze, I think. Uh -oh. <laughs> Guys, um, 10 quality conversations, 10 emails to spark a new opportunity, and 10 text to spark a new opportunity. And they don't have to be with strangers, just looking for that next lead or opportunity. So if you, you know, if you just embrace that between now and the end of April, some of you may be doing far more than that. Good job. Keep it up because I'd love to see you all increase it to 2020, 20 as a coach. See, I would think that would be fantastic. And, you know, Sean, many of our folks here uh, participate in something with their teams called Inventory Creation Day, where they set aside a day a month and they just dial all day for listings. And you could do that on your own. Get a couple of your friends in the office, say, hey, let's make it fun. Let's have donuts in the morning and then we'll get on the phone and then we'll practice our scripts and then we'll take a break and we'll do some role play and we'll get back on and we'll have lunch and we'll get back on again. Often you can talk to 70 plus people in the course of a day. And you know what it also does is it stretches you. So when you go back tomorrow to your 10, 10, 10, it seems easy. And I always like to do this at the end of each month because it would front load me with leads and appointments for the next month that was ahead. So protect the lead gen. Such a good habit. Yeah. Such a good habit. Yep. It is your appointment with your future. And if you need help being accountable, and more than that, if you need help being also strategic about choosing your areas of focus, preparing to navigate what's in front of us and ahead of us. My coaches are 20 to 40 year veterans. We're meeting every day right now to come up with new ideas and strategies for all of you. So just scan that QR code. I'll be happy to talk to you about what it's like to coach with Forward. And I believe because they are with Land Voice, they also have a discount when they work with Forward Coaching, correct? That's right. And everyone needs a coach. I highly recommend your organization, Debbie. You do a fantastic job okay. for us and for everyone attending. Thank you. Well, guys, we are so glad you're here today. Um, you know, we are entrepreneurs. We can do this. We can conquer this. Um, it's, you know, we're the wild and crazy ones, right? As Steve Jobs says, the, uh, the either the square peg that won't fit in the round hole. I think that's what it is, <laughs> right? That's it. That's it. All right, guys, have a great week. Thank you, Sean. Grateful to all of you. Absolutely. We'll see you next and, time, and guys. And Chris, just scan that QR code. I have two customer service gentlemen, Gary and Ron. They'll be happy to reach out and get you what you need. No pressure. They're not salespeople. They'll just get you that info. So go ahead and scan that code and we'll get you taken care of. All right, guys, have a good day. Bye-bye.